Hi Futures Club, it's Jay Clark here. Um, I hope you're all doing well. And yeah, I'm here to answer your questions. Absolutely unbelievable. Everybody, you know, grows up watching him. Um, you know, you see all these amazing shots he does around the net post, through legs, and it makes you want to go on court and try it. And obviously for me growing up, like I say, watching him almost every match he played, you know, I would, it would be 10 o'clock at night. And because we lived so close to a club, I'd be like, come on, Dad, you know, come on, Kurt, let's go down, you know, and let's try some of these shots. So the fact that, obviously, it was special for me, but also my family, that it was at my home slam, playing the greatest of all time. Um, no, it was, it was one of the best moments of my life. One piece of advice I would say is it's important to have a backup plan up until a certain age. So, um, yeah, once you fall in love with the sport, I think it then becomes much easier to make your decision um, whether you go through the school route or the college route or you turn pro straight away or, you know, even if you want to continue sport. Um, you know, a lot of things can happen on the way which can obviously turn your decision. And so, yeah, I think it's important not to put all your eggs in one basket because there is only a select few and just being a very good player doesn't always mean you're going to make it. There's obviously a lot of factors that go into that. Um, so yeah, listen to your parents, listen to your coaches and always try and maximise you know, in every area you can to give yourself the best chance if it's really what you want to do. I would say my idol growing up was Rafa Nadal. Um, you know, I loved how fast and how aggressive he was, you know, he ran for every ball and that's something that me personally I've been taught to do at such a young age. Um, I used to play a lot of tournaments where the players were much bigger and stronger than I was and yeah, for me that's what I learned to do um, and I think that's impacted my game a big way even now. For me, um, and I think any top level sports person, it doesn't matter what sport or anything like that you play, it's important to be healthy, you know, almost 52 weeks a year if you can to maximise, you know, the weeks you're actually playing the events and also the weeks you're training to make constant gains and not have setbacks and yeah, diet's a massive, massive part of that. One of the funniest moments on tour for me so far was back in 2017 when I played Dubs at World Bomb um, at Wimbledon after we won our first couple of rounds there. Um, yeah, it was early in the second set, Wilbur hits a great serve up the tee, his partner just gets it back and I have a forehand maybe a metre away from the net and there's obviously two options like I could play at his feet or go through the middle, drop shot, like a lot of things I could do but it was a big point and I didn't want to miss it so I thought I'm going to go as hard as I can at the guy and me thinking the guy's going to run um, so it's fine, I'm not going to hurt him or he's going to put his racket or whatever. But the other guy was thinking, oh, he's not going to go at me, um, so I don't need to move. So basically, I hit it as hard as physically possible. And yeah, it hurt the guy pretty badly. And he was laying on the floor for about six minutes. And um, at the end of the match, he was like, don't worry, mate. I've already got two kids. I don't need any more. <laughs>